Well, Celebrate Smiles really arose out of um, a community partners that saw a need for dental care for children. It's not only preventative, but it's also restorative. A lot of programs that exist of this type really focus on the prevention, which is key, and we do spend a lot of time on that, and education as well. But it's also nice to be able to really provide all the restorative services necessary on site to the students. I think the most recent statistics we've seen show about one in three children have untreated dental decay. Madison reflects that average. So there is a need, and for preventative care all the time, and then obviously the restorative care as well. So dental health is very important. Um, when a cavity grows, it can cause pain. Students miss school all the time because of dental pain. And that's something we're really trying to help with this program. When we come to a school like this one, like Lowell, on a typical screening day, if we have a full day to school, we expect to see between 50 and 70 kids. The equipment that we use is um, its pretty similar to what they use in the military. Um, it's portable equipment that we're able to bring in at the beginning of the week. We start off, um, if you want to think of it in uh, three different steps. The first step is the preventative part. So the kids will come in for a screening exam and see me. Um, I'll take a look, give them a ranking based on their needs, and then I will also figure out how many sealants they need. And then after they see me, they will go over to our hygienist and assistant. And um, once they're done with that, we're able to sort the kids based on need so that when we're done with the screenings, we have them come back for x-rays. And we work backwards from highest needs to lowest needs. Our statistics are showing that about 30 to 40 percent of the kids that we see in a screening will have cavities. I think dental care is important to a student's education because we're educating the whole child. Um, so it's not just about learning, it's about uh, their emotions, it's about social, so it's about the whole child. If uh, a student is uncomfortable in their teeth, um, it's, it's hard to focus on learning. And so I think it's great that uh, we have the opportunity through Celebrate Smiles uh, to be able to come in and support the students with their oral care so that uh, that's one less obstacle one less barrier that they have to, uh, to overcome. I think it's important to any person's overall health, um, and especially growing children. Um, their immune systems are still somewhat, not, I don't want to say weakened, but not fully developed. And if they're not feeling well, then they're going to miss a lot of school. They're going to be in and out of school. They're going to have a lot of pain. So they're, when they're in school, they won't be able to concentrate. So they really, there's a need for this in many communities and including ours. Well, I think the ability to provide dental care in the schools is really key. You don't have to take the children away from the classroom for as long. Um, parents don't have to leave their job or other obligations to take the child to the off dental office. So I think it's really key we're bringing the services to the children. And it works. It really works. Um, your program comes in. They're a well-oiled machine. They get the kids back and forth. Um, the staff is great with the kids. It really works. Well, I think it's a wonderful program. I think that some of those barriers are taken care of when Celebrate Smiles actually comes into the building. I, I think what I'd like to say about the program is that I'm really thankful for it. I, I think that it's just great that, uh, that those involved in Celebrate Smiles understand the need that we have here, that it's a wonderful partnership, uh, that it, it certainly, as I said before, fills a need, a, a very real need that we have here. So the students benefit from that totally, and, um, and it's great. It's a win-win for everybody.